Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. We are continuing our MVC video sessions. In our previous session, we discussed about what is a partial view result, how do we create a partial view, how do we access the partial view. Now, in this session, we will detailedly discuss about uh, a simple example where properly these partial views are used. The previous example was a simple basic example to make you understand how the partial views are added and used. Now we will see one another example, the correct example of uh, understanding and using partial views. So I will uh, switch to my MVC project. So what I am doing here is in my MVC project, I am adding a new folder called uh, images and in images folder I am adding some existing images. So I have few images in my machine, I am accessing some images and adding them. These images are related to some products, these images are related to some products. Okay. I am copying and adding these images there, that is fine. I have few images here. Now I will go to the models and add a new model class, I am adding a new model class. Let us uh, name this model class as a product, it is a product class. Okay. Now in the product class, I will define few members. So one is public int uh, product ID gets at some properties and uh, we have public uh, string name gets at and we have public decimal price and uh, gets it. okay. And uh, so we make it as uh, default double type, right? It's fine. And we have another public uh, string. This is a photo. Our intention is uh, photo will be a path of the image that comes from our virtual location, right? So I created a product type. The product type comprises of product ID, name price and photo. Photo is just a string because you are referring to a path from where the image source comes. So now the product type is ready. Now what we will do? We will go to controllers and add a controller. I am adding a controller by name products. We have a products controller. Now in the products controller, in the products controller, we are adding the model data. So let us access that model class here. So using my project is partial view demo in that we have models. Now I will add some data for that here. So in the products controller, I will create a list list of product type, product type and I will give the name as products is equal to new list of product type. I will add some products information here that means uh, a new product and every product will have product ID and have a name. So some Samsung TV and uh, will have a price, price uh, some price, it is a double type and uh, we have photo and photo is the path. So the path is uh, tilled slash images slash I have tv dot uh, jpg, tv dot uh, jpg that is the first product. Now similarly I will uh, add few products information here. I will add some four products information here. Let us uh, change the name here to 2 and 3 and 4. Now I have this as a name, I defined as name. This is a mobile 
another one is uh, some uh, Nike shoe okay and here I have uh, Lee Cooper boat okay now let's uh, change the price of uh, these products let's add some price some reasonable price there that fine and let's change the image source here another one is mobile.jpg I have a shoe.jpg and uh, I have a shoe1.jpg okay now once uh, the list of all the products has been stored now I just created a collection of all the products now I want to access and print the products information in my index page but whenever I want to print the products in my index page what I want is uh, I want every product information to be displayed in a specific prototype like uh, I want every product information to be displayed in this way I want the product photo and I want the product details so that means left side I want to display the product photo and here I want to display the product details details like ID name price all these details I want to show now I want this prototype to be used for every product inside that collection that means uh, I want this prototype to be reused for every product and display that means I want to design one prototype for showing the products information and I want this prototype to be used by every product that means I will not design this prototype for every product I will use this for every product so how to create a reusable prototype so that it can be used any number of times and can be accessed in a view so I have an index action and uh, in the index action I want to print the list of all the products but according to a specific prototype what I have shown you just now so how do we create a reusable prototype so now a reusable prototype means we have a partial view so I am creating a partial view result I will give the name as prototype yeah a prototype now it is a partial view it has to return it has to return a partial view okay now what I want this partial view result action method to do is to return a partial view for displaying the products information according to this format as per this format so how do we add a partial view right click and add view and it's an MVC view in that prototype but it is a partial view partial view I already discussed about this we need to select the option create as partial view okay now a partial view is added by name prototype but very important is this partial view is a strongly typed partial view strongly typed partial view means it is expecting the data from the model so that means a product information will be passed here it has to print that product information that means initially this is having empty that means no values are supplied it is just a prototype but later when we are using it we provide some data into it it has to use the data and present it so if you are new to this session we already discussed in our previous sessions of MVC what is a strongly typed view how to create a strongly typed view and how do we access and use strongly typed views you can go through that video so here we are creating a partial view strongly typed how do we create a partial view strongly typed we have to use a helper at the net model and it is strongly typed for uh, our project uh, partial view demo partial view demo dot models dot the class is product that means it is expecting a product information 
and when a product information comes here, it has to print that product information. I will design a table, some width uh, 400 and uh, border 2 and uh, I will just put uh, a line also to center. Okay. Now, in this table, I will design a row. In the row first cell, here I want to display the image, means the product image. And to display product image, so we are using the IMG and uh, SRC, but this time the source is coming from a model field. And we already discussed in our strongly typed concept how we can bind a image URL to the image source. We have to use at the net URL dot content and uh, the content is a virtual path which is coming from model, model dot uh, the field is photo. So, actually the photo field that we have used in our product type is uh, referring to a virtual path. We are accessing that virtual path and assigning to image. I will define the width of image to 200 and height of image 200. So, 200. So, width and height of image is defined this. So, in the left cell, we are going to display the image. Now, in the right cell, I want to display the details of that image. So, I will create another cell. In this cell, I want to display the details. So, you can uh, use another table here. I will use the table frames or uh, table again with uh, some border 1 or uh, better we can go with uh, the new options you know we have table have frame is equal to box and rules is equal to all ok. Now, align also is equal to center this is an inner table. So, that is displayed in the cell. Now, this table has to have a row where it has to display the product ID and how do we get the product ID and the cell beside at the net model, model dot product ID. So, we are accessing the product details and displaying the product details. So, I will add another row and here I will define the product name. I am using the name and access that name. So, model dot name and I want another row, this is for price. So, I am defining a price and it is model dot price, ok. So, we created one prototype, but uh, this prototype is uh, strongly typed. That means, it is expecting a product type value. So, whenever you call this partial view, you need to pass a product into it. So, it will collect the data and it will present the data in a desired form. So, let us see how do we access and use this partial view. Now, I have a index action in the controller. I will switch back to the controller. In this index action, we are passing the products list here. So, index action is uh, returning a view into the view we are passing the products. That means, uh, whatever the products collection you are having, you are sending that products collection into the index. Now, add a view for index and uh, it is an ordinary view, it is not a partial view. So, uncheck that partial view, it is an ordinary index view. Now, we know that this index view, this index view is uh, having a collection of products coming in. So, that means, uh, we are sending a list of products into this index. So, you know how to collect it. We will use model, a list of what type. So, partial view demo dot models dot product, ok. Why we created a list? Because uh, we know that a list is coming here. Now, what I have to do is I will put a header. So, I will say as a products catalog and I will align this to center, ok. Now, I want to, I want to print the list of all the products here, but I do not want to design a format for printing those products. 
already there is a format designed for printing products. I will bring that format and use it here. So, we already created a partial view, we will access and use the partial view. That means, what I have to do is, so perform an iteration for each var item in collection, collection is model. That means, for every item inside that collection, you need to access the partial view and render partial view. That means, uh, this model contains a collection of products and every individual product is now accessible through this item. Now, I want this product to be displayed through a prototype, then we will call that prototype here in the looping statement html dot partial. So, how do we access a partial view html dot partial and what is the partial view name? Partial view name is prototype, but this prototype is a partial view you can see it is expecting a product type data. And uh, that means, whenever you are accessing the strongly typed partial views, you need to pass data into it. So, how do we pass the data? We have to define partial view name, comma and the data. Data is, data is defined inside item, I will pass that item here. So, that means, whatever the product information you collected, you are passing that product information into this prototype. Now, very important is you are doing this in a iteration statement, that means, now, this partial view will be repeated for every product inside this model. So, let us run this and see. That means, you created one partial view to present product information and we are using that partial view for every item inside the collection and rendering the partial view. Now, let us see how it is going to display our information. So, when we want a prototype to be used for every product, so, we designed it as a partial view, but this time this partial view is a strongly typed view. So, whenever we access, we need to pass some data into it, a product type data into it, so that it will access the product data and display. And you can see it prints that information. That means, whatever the products catalog, it is accessing that products catalog and displaying the products catalog here. So, that means, we designed one prototype and we are using this prototype for every product inside that particular collection. So, that means, we are creating a reusable prototype and using it everywhere. This is how we have to use a partial view. This is just one example of working with the partial views. Now, we have so many questions related to partial views. That means, when we are working with partial views, there are so many technical issues we need to discuss about all those technical issues. So, we will go through the frequently asked questions related to partial view in our next session. Thank you.